Mark, Congressman, I had meant to ask you a couple of weeks ago, uh, taking uh, host's privilege here uh, to ask a question. Um, you had gone to Israel, and, and I believe you got as far as Gaza. I have been a longtime advocate for a two-state solution and, and uh, you know, the, uh, characterized Gaza as an open-air prison, and, and uh, I, I just don't think apartheid is going gonna, is gonna to work over the long term. Uh, in that region. Uh, did you want to speak to, at all to that trip and, and uh, share any observations or thoughts with us? Boy, I, I could do an hour with you. Let me share it, it this way, Tom. Um, this is my third trip to uh, the region, uh, both to Israel and Palestine. Um, you know, I, I came back. I won. The good news is Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu are gone, right? That, mm -hmm. That's a positive. But the, the negative, I guess, is, you know, the Palestinian Authority is weak, um, not really responsive, I think, to what's going on in many ways uh, with the demolitions in East Jerusalem and what's going on, in, in, especially among younger Palestinians. And uh, the Israeli coalition, while it's a very diverse coalition and it passed a budget, I think some of the bigger geopolitical issues like one state versus two state is very hard with that fragile coalition. So you know, there's a lot that needs to happen so that we can actually have human rights for everyone there. And Gaza, without question, um, I think it was described to me as the conditions are just miserable enough that you can exist. Uh, and, and that's what they're, they're, the conditions are there. And there's no question we need to do more. I was turned down once again to going into Gaza. It's my second time I've been turned down. They didn't turn us officially down until after we got back. Uh, but I, I got the Admin Costello. Remember the old who's on first, what's on mm -hmm. second, I don't know, is on third base routine. Uh, defense said it was up to foreign ministry whether we could go. Foreign ministry said it was up to defense. I even asked the prime minister himself, and then he pushed it back to the foreign minister. And by the time we left, uh, without being able to enter Gaza to see what's exactly happening on the ground. Um, we were then later rejected because we were members of Congress and Parliament in Europe aren't allowed. Uh, we've got some language that we're trying to deal with that right now in appropriations so that they can't do that if they're receiving funds. But, um, you know, it's a troubling time because there, there's still a lot of work we have to have to have real peace and human rights in the region. Yeah, I think that falls into the category of what is it that you're hiding?